What's up, man? Sorry, I was cold. I had to change. Got a sweatshirt too. Uh, yeah, I was really bored. I was getting uh some people's packages ready, and I felt like going live. <laughs> Or are you guys? Plus, I got that hit in Urban Stream earlier, and I got me kind of hyped up. Chris, did you? I don't think I sent you. What urban uh hold for me? I can't believe I slept through that. I never get hits for myself. Yeah. I wake up to all these holy Fs. Literally the last thing I went before I fell asleep for a second. Man, it'd be nice to get a couple of Tatis cards. I will show you right now. So I got this uh, out of 25 Tatis rookie out of gallery, which is nice. And then I guess the next pack was the the Tatis uh, gallery rookie auto, which is, I think, the best looking card in the set. To me, he looks like a, a sci-fi soldier or something like that. I think it's a great profile, so pretty psyched with that. What's up, Dallas? I fell asleep. I slept through the whole break. I was feeling kind of wow. Then I got a text from um, Amy Spore who I bought some cards off of her and she sent them out today and she just got a Tati's auto and she can't find it. And she said it might be my package. So I don't know. Tati's isn't the word for this evening. How are you all? You work in Dallas? Yeah, it is a really nice card. Uh, classic. If you want to email me the link as soon as uh, it goes up, so I can get a get a spot. What do you What are you breaking? Yeah, it's a really. It's from um, High Tech. Hey, Taco. Hey, I got something to show you in a minute, Mr. Meat. So, hey, Case, you got your phone working? I haven't been texting you because I didn't think your, your phone was going. Did you watch Uncut Gems? So, I went to the LCS today to get some stuff. 20 boxes of Chrome update, each box four rounds. 
I don't know what the round, what do you mean by four round? How much is it? So I went to LCS to get some stuff for the for all the, the guys that signed up for my Patreon. Some um, specific, like team related stuff. And uh, my LCS guy <clears throat> got a ton of waxing. So I have a ton of wax to break junk wax. Uh, I got this, which I've been picking at all night, like scab, the 92 flare rack packs, because I really like these cards. I don't know. So three dollars a spot, 350 shipping on the first spot. What is when what does three dollars a spot get? My phone break is really bad, doesn't work. Yeah, mine's like that too. I have to use a um uh Cableless phone charger. When are you getting a mat and graphics like BITG? Uh, probably never. Probably not. That that would involve much more effort than I'd like to put in. And I don't want to play with doohickeys and doodads and bric a brac and miscellany trying to do the stream. I have enough time. I have a hard enough time saying my words. So, especially when you're in here. So, I don't want to have to. Uh, do that. I do think that stuff is really cool. Okay, cool. I'll definitely be uh, buying in on that class. For sure. Um, I got to touch uh, Fisher with Phil. One sec. So, yeah, I, um, I have something I have to ask you, Mr. Meat. So I got the 92 flare rack packs. Um, I got this in the mail today. I bought this to break. This is the action pack scouting report, which is the Jeter minor league card in it. And um, uh, that will Clark auto. I think he, I, I got that from me, right? So this has uh, Jeter and Michael Jordan in it. So it'll be a pretty cheap break coming up. And I got, uh, which I think is a fun set. I know it's junk wax. I know it's a million of it, but 89 tops. It's got good rookies in it. I have 93, 94 NBA hoops. So I got a lot of non-baseball stuff. Fine. 91 ultra football. 92 flare ultra football. 91 92 basketball. I could also get he has these in a uh, jumbo packs as well. Uh, I can get, I don't know if it's worth it. I think they have a different type of insert. Um, what the hell is this? 92 football series two, upper deck football series two. Uh, we did this. I liked it actually. The 91 football, um, high series, find the name of it. Uh, what else? We have Stadium Club, 93 Stadium Club Series 3. Skybox Impact, 93 football. Uh, Skybox Basketball Series 2. What year is this? Like 92 or something? Whatever. And then I got this, the first hockey taco meat. I know it's junk wax, so I don't know if it's good or not. 91, 90, 90, 91 hockey, upper deck hockey. Um, it's counterfeit proof limited edition random sequencing. I don't know why they would make the random sequencing limited edition tamper proof packs. They were really going all out with the, uh, Oh, this is the French edition as well. I got junk at the trunk of my friend and there's a ton more where that came from. Uh, so I don't know. People ask for football, so there's football for cheap, cheap stuff too, which is nice. Yeah, nobody does, but does anybody really care if their 9091 upper deck hockey gets tampered with? I don't. Um, I was going through these earlier, Dallas. Remember when you sent me the? I think you 
first thing you ever sent me was these the metal uh, flare ultra flare metal. Uh, I've been meaning to put them all in a binder because they are so friggin' cool and bizarre. Chuck Knobloch, Paul Molitor getting absolutely murdered by some type of tentacle monster. Such a weird set. Uh, Ricky Henderson for the San Diego Padres trying to outrun a friggin' octopus that's choking him. Uh, I don't know why uh, this card was made. Wally Joyner. Uh, let me see if I find some more interesting ones. Classic, do you have these? I like Greg Vaughn. Uh, like, what the fuck? Look at this Greg Vaughn card. What is he doing? He's working on an oil rig. Or he's destroying it. He's covered in friggin' oil. He's got an emerge cut, I don't know, emergency cutoff valve that he's, you know, he's shutting down an emergency at an oil rig. I don't, I don't understand it one bit. He doesn't even have a, a baseball bat in his hand. Crazy. We have Alan Bennis in a whirlwind about to die. What's up, man? Phil, uh, did you have you seen these cards? These 97, I think it's 97, right, Dallas? I tried to get a box of these recently, and they're so expensive. Um, 97 Flare Metal Universe. They're crazy. Let's see what else we have in here. Black gold, Texas mm. tea. That's right. Uh, Wally Joyner, I guess he's hitting this fire. They're, 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 you need to look through these. So Scott Sanders of the San Diego Padres is being killed by a, a giant spider in this one. Uh, and he literally is being murdered by a, he's in a con of spider. Web. He's about to die. That spider, judging by, let's see how tall he is. He's six foot four, 220. So I'm going to say that that spider is probably a good 20 feet long. Yeah, I saw that he busted the, the, the metal and he did it the day I was looking at the, uh, the, um, to purchase them and I just couldn't, they were just too expensive. Uh, so we have Paul Wilson. I guess he's, I don't know what this is. This is the city, uh, abandoned city or an apocalyptic city. He's just playing catch, throwing the ball in. Uh, let's see. I like this one. <laughs> Greg yeah. Jeffries is trying to outrun a demonic, uh, like a ghost out of a castle. He looks absolutely terrified to. Uh, yeah, 97. This is a really strange set. What's up, Funkin? Mo does have all the eyeballs. Because as we know, everybody wants to look at Mo. I don't know what this card is. Some of these I just I just can't see what they are. Mickey uh, Morandini, Ricky Otero. We have Scott Rowland um, as like some type of Lovecraftian cosmic god floating through space with a weird belt on. Benito Santiago. I find them more interesting. Uh, Rich Becker, not related to getting shot and killed. I'm pretty sure he died uh, from some type of laser attack. Nineties were weird, man. Uh, Frank Rodriguez. Being abducted by some type of chain monster. Uh, Terry Steinbach with the vampire bats, I assume. I don't know if he is a bat or if he's just hanging out with them. We have Todd Walker fending off an alien invasion. So the UFO is in the background. 
Alan, Andy Ashby paratrooping down, dropping bombs on people's just such a weird, weird set. I wonder who had the idea to put these things together like this. Yeah, I was having uh, some anxiety. That's why I, I kind of felt like coming on too. <laughs> Kevin, uh, strange thoughts about Joe Diffie keeping me up. <laughs> King of the Autographs. Yeah, Funk, and I hear that. Um, trying to keep my mind on the ball. I missed my psychologist appointment today. It was just a friggin' disaster of a day. Um, <laughs> Nightmare of my ass. Hey, so you know what I was watching earlier? If, uh, I don't know if anybody here has seen it. I'm sure somebody has. I, I imagine Chris has. Um, Legend with um, Tom Cruise and uh, Tim Curry. You should watch it again, Chris. It's, it's good. Um, I was watching the scene. Do you remember the little creature, the little goblin, and it blicks? You like The Witcher? I finished it last night. I thought it was all right. Or I finished it this morning. Um, it gets. What would a thumbnail of. Wait, give me. What would a thumbnail of yours say? Help me. Is that a dad joke? I think it is. Uh, what would a thumbnail of mine say? I don't know. I'm not sure what you mean. Yeah, it's okay. I have a friend who loves the... I love the game. I love Witcher 3. It's a, one of my favorite games, probably. Uh, and Geralt is really great. It is a game, Phil. It was a series of books... Uh, fantasy books, and then it was the game, which are one, two, and three, and now it's uh, they just made a Netflix show. I think you, it's good. It's it is a good show. It's fantasy. Um, Austin, the legend who doesn't hoard autographs. <laughs> Yeah, it's different though than, than Skyrim. It's not as open world. <laughs> Heavy dialogue. What do you call a phony noodle? Um, hold on. So, oh, you some you kind of. I should uh, I I should sue you for a joke like that, Phil. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> Awesome. Surprised you're not sleeping. Phil, everybody's always asking where you are. Hey, Chris. What's up, my friend? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just noticed something. The back of the Joe Diffie card. He's got the dog, which shows he's a sensitive fellow. 
uh, you can't really see the uh, glare is kind of messing it up. How how uh, prominent his bulge is in this in this picture. I don't want to take out of the one touch because I don't want my hand to catch on. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jane W. I did talk to BITG uh, a little while ago. So, so classic again. Going back to your question, what would a thumbnail? Are you are you asking what would my thumbnail say? <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't, you mean like vi visually? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I would like them to be kind of, uh, if I was going to do thumbnails, I'd want them to be very not on the nose. Like, like, like kind of last night, the one I did with the, the 87 tops burning in the fireplace, if I was in your tops fire or stuff like that, I guess. I don't know. J and W's a king of the autos. He's sitting on a pile of them, like a, a tyrannical king who won't share his, his, uh, Mike Scott, Autos and his uh, Manny Lee, Manny Lee stuff. It would say that, and then Dallas would lock up his ass tighter, so I couldn't get out. I'm going to open some flare in a minute, some 92 flare rack packs. Search for that Roger Clemens auto. Uh, so tomorrow, tonight, I'm going to do that Bowman break around 1030. If anybody, Dallas, you bought in. Chris, you bought in. Ben Verlander. I never heard of Ben Verlander. Is that Justin's parasitic twin that uh, grows on its thigh, like Belial from Basket Case? So another thing that's cool is, is uh, Dan, Hard Arc Cards. Uh, so he was going to send a 1989 score set. Um. A set break to do but he's also going to start sending me junk wax to sell um on the website for him which would be really cool because he's got a lot of cool cool junk wax or oddballs i don't know if it's all junk wax but it's going to be stuff dallas is going to be kind of a long stream so it's not a big deal <laughs> Well, you want a Ron Say autograph, Dallas? Is that something you're interested in? Hey, buddy. He's got a giant set on his chin. Oh, you're going to lay down right here. I'm a, I'm in on that that Rav, and I I think I'm gonna start doing uh, those as well. It's a good way to get rid of cards. I might do like Patreon only raffles. You think that's a good idea? Idea? <laughs> idea? <laughs> You know what's great about Dan's Nolan Ryan? It's a, it's real. Mm -hmm. 
What else did I get today? I got some of these. Some Bowman's Best. I got a Bowman Best Austin Riley. No, they're not coming right. A Bo Bichette. Rookie. Thanks, buddy, for being a little stand for me. A Bo Bichette. Cracked ice or whatever you want to call it. Bowman's Best. Kopech Rookie. Soto. Mookie. All these were like six for five. I thought it was pretty good. Good enough for me. I got some other stuff I can't show. That's for surprises. Doubt. I mean, Austin, do not worry about that stuff. We're also gonna have we're gonna have uh, Grant's packs. Um, if you guys want to see what Grant's packs are like, um, go to AIAB Car Breaks and he sells Grant's packs. Their team, though, I think they're eight bucks and their team pack. You get 12 cards and um, oh fucking oh, I'm sorry I'm 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 with you as I'm trying to work through it right now. Uh, you you have my number. You can text me if you need anything. Oh, am I am I bothering you? Mental case right now. This is my he, see he gets to lick my knee. You guys are jealous? I don't like when he does that. It hurts. Where's MLP? Oh, see ya. Bye. Surprised we got more than three people in here. Hey, Papa J. Good night. I hope I didn't miss you. Did I? I'm scrolling up. I I don't see you, Papa Jay. I hope I didn't you didn't come in and I missed you. I feel like a, a jerk. I don't care, Austin. That's that's fine. I'd rather them thumb down than, than not thumbs up or not do anything. I don't think Roger Clay is doing it. I don't think so. Could be wrong. <laughs> Not yeah, yeah, he started. Uh, yeah, he did stop coming around. He moved to he as soon as he gets banned from one stream, he goes to a different stream. Uh, I didn't, I didn't want to ban him. I, I didn't. I just, we did, I didn't want him. He couldn't act right, or he couldn't just be. He had the. He was always pushing Casey's buttons, trying to get one of the mods from Dallas to 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 ban him. Wait, what are you talking about, Classic? Let's see this. I just, all right. I have it.
That is dope. I, I love it. The only problem with that is I don't have any 1993 SP. People are going to be pissed when they see that and they click it and say, well, where's the SP? I love it. Uh, he clearly has some compulsion issues, Phil, you know. Yeah, it is all the rage all of a sudden. It's always been the rage in my house. I, classic, I, 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 would, I would pay you to make me thumbnails. I'm, I'm dead serious. Like if I told you, like, oh, like, hey, I'm gonna have these cards this week. Um, I would, I'd pay you, you know, for your time to to do them. You just maybe do them for the week or something. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I don't. Simple. If it could do something that takes you five minutes, I'm fine with that. I did, I did the '94 tops fine. Yeah, we did that a while ago. Um, uh, Casey got there were two refract. Uh, Casey got a Will Clark refractor, which is really cool. And um, Stash got an, a Brett Butler. Refractor, I think. So I don't remember. Did any of you guys? I don't know what a superstar sampler is. Never heard of that. Speaking of Will Clark, Casey, are you here? I opened up a lot of 92 flare back in the day. I do not remember these inserts. I don't know if they're exclusive to Brett Butler comedian. Yikes. Imagine. Oh, no, I didn't visit him. Cross the line. Um, but do you guys know if these were in rack packs only or Were in regular packs because I don't have any recollection recollection of those existing. Brett Butler, the comedian. Grace under fire. Is that it? Uh, she is absolutely not my type. Uh, uh, she's about as far away from my type as you can get. Well, I'm going to open up some cards right now. I'm going to open up some 92 flare because I really want to get the set. Good God almighty. These are cards I was sorting. Another monster box down. Yeah, Austin, you're going to wake up one day and you're going to be 35. Then you're going to be 40. I haven't, I don't know. I haven't reached 40, so I can't say, but it, it comes quick and time speeds up fast. It's unbelievable how fast time starts to move. So I hit the Will Clark. Let me fix this. So this is also the the as the uh, Patreon thing, the mysterious chest in the corner. This is it right here. It's actually pretty full of cards, so I can't really show, but it's good. 
So, we need some luck. We need the guardians of the. We need to come up with a proper name for these fellas, the guardians of something. But there were the. Um, I got the Will Clark, Don Mattingly, uh, Howard Johnson, and Lenny Dykstra. So I want to get the rest. I want to die when I'm 52. Oh, come on, Austin. How do you want to die when you're 50? 50 is pretty young, man. Uh, you know, you treat yourself right. You can be a very healthy person when you're older. Sable's Guardian. Now, it doesn't have a good ring to it. Uh, it doesn't have enough of a ring. Now, you can get... There was... Um, Autograph cards in the set series that you could pull. Uh, the Roger Clemens, I think there was 2,000 of them. Let's see if there's any type of uh, plus find one of the hand signed Roger Clemens cards. I don't know what ARV 50 means. Odds of winning signature card are one in 35,000. They're hard. Like lucky, lucky, you're a you're a bringer of goodness and light. But no, no, that's 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 too crude, Austin. It's got to have some rhythm to it. Love triangle. I like. It's got to have some. It's got to slip off the top. ARV fifty. Is that like what the they're saying the card is worth? Average retail value fifty for the Clemens autograph card. I can't remember. Somebody I was it John Jabs was a big fan of these. Someone said, Jen, what are you doing up? Nat Noakes. Mystical Misfits getting closer. I bet Jen likes Legend with Tom Cruise. I can't believe I have more than five, just a couple people here. Quarter four. Why join her? Kenny Rogers, Scott Erickson, Todd Zale. We got a record set as Nolan Ryan, Derek Bell, The Turtle, Ramon. Are there any good rookies in this set? Uh, I throw away Matt Notes cards almost immediately uh, when I when I receive them. My father taught me very young to not play with Matt Notes cards. Don't play around with them. Kind of like a Ouija board. Shoot, forgot I have a card show. Go to Piazza rookie in this. I don't know. It would be cool. I'm not a Piazza fan, but Eric Bullocks, Carlos Quintana, Scott Scudder. How much are you buying the 14 update hangers for? Juan Gonzalez, not a Juan fan. Put him in the box. Jack McDowell, Luis Gonzalez, Scott Leas. Hey, I like these girls, maybe a little Leas. Oh, Austin, thank you for the dollar fifty hot dog. I appreciate ten dollars for up fourteen update hangers. What is the hot dog? Oh, is that a hot dog with just ketchup on, or is that mustard? That's that's crazy. I mean. How, I don't know. That's an insane price. You ever want to sell any for you get them for that price? I'll pay much more than that for 14 update. Oh. Oh, you know what this is? The sampler? Uh, I think this is probably was. I'm going to assume that it was given to card shops um, prior to the set coming out. 
No? Like a promo card. You, you, they would say, hey, this is a, this is a series of kind of like screener videos. VHS tapes, no mustard for you. No mustard. You are right. Mustard is for uh, for the Humphreys out there, for all the Mike Humphreys. Pat Kelly. Ooh, that's a nice. Oh, God, I wish it was centered. That's a sick. I absolutely love that. Now, that's why I like 91 Flare is because they have these cool cards like this. Love it. Van Beltre, Edgar Martinez, Hall of Famer. Chuck. Ooh, so this is a bot. So these are the inserts. I think every. The Manage a Trois. Yeah, but there's going to be more added. Griffey PSA 6. Yeah, probably. I can't be. There's going to be, as time goes on, the. Uh, the legion of schmucks. How about that? Legion of schmucks. No? So, Jen, do you like Legend? The, the movie from 1985? I don't know, Phil. It, it might be. Some people... So, for instance, I collect VHS screener tapes. They're not worth a ton, but they do have a little extra value. Um, you might be able to, to get a little bit more for it. I, I don't know. It, so, I, I want to talk about Legend. I want to do a video on uh, uh a break, uh, like a, not a review, but a breakdown of obscene in Legend, but I'm too nervous to do that. Kelly Downs, Brett Saberhagen, Dill, Dill Murphy, that goes in the box for Chris, Tom Glavin, little Wayne Kirby, leader, Frankie V, Paul Gibson, Kevin Elster. Uh, the scene when um, Blix is introduced. Uh, I, I call it, uh, Jen, I, I, I collect VHS tape, so. They'll never, the only breakdown of Jaws 3 will be when I take the tape and I break it into pieces after I write your name on it. Stan Hat, Paul Molitor. Hey, Mr. Conseco. What game are you playing? Uh, it's coming. Actually, it might be we might do the TV tonight. Dwight Evans, but Oreos, I don't like that. Yeah, Jen, I usually collect the horror movies and um, another Conseco. Uh, horror movies and hard to find oddball stuff that never came out on DVD. Or had might have had a very low DVD run, which is surprisingly a lot. Oh man, Casey, I played Hearthstone for from data to I don't know last year. Um, I spent probably close to two thousand dollars on that game. Pedro Guerrero, Alan Anderson, Bob Ducey, Ricky Henderson. Children of the Corn 3. Yuck. Well, there's a scene on on YouTube where uh, it's, I think it's called Darkness is Soliloquy to the Night or something. And uh, it's really good. So what do we Hey, we got another Will Clark. So that will probably go to you, Case. That's a really well centered one. So you've never seen that? Legend is so it's so high fantasy. I don't think there's a movie that's higher fantasy than than Legend. It's very dreamy. 
Yeah, I was I worked hard to get the legend and I was really into the arena as well. But then again, it became too frustrating, and I said, F it. Yeah, Dark Crystal's cool. I like Dark Crystal. I like Labyrinth. I like all those 80s um, fantasy type. But um, I, oh, sorry, man. I think Bonds are coming again a lot. I have heard about that. Sorry, Phil. I, I'm just, I thought you uh, were tagging somebody else. Um, but don't didn't I can't remember who said it, it was a jab said that they fall off they tend to fall off as the private votes come in 78 percent what do you need to get in 75 oh raga there are the Roger Clemens inserts in this that are all black the highlights I'm talking oh Bo Jackson, I do have this card, but never have enough Bo. Kirby and Larkin. Cat Rice. I have not pulled one of the Clemens highlights out of here yet. I had a ton of them growing up. I don't see any. Tim Burke. So I think the 92 Fleur I'm going to do for myself until I complete that set of... Well, the hell is, I mean, Austin, you want a nice pair of double Ds, either make enough where you can have them made for you, or they, uh, or make enough so they come to you. What do I do with commons? You do not want to know what I do with commons. It depends on what commons from what series. Some people I give them to, um, other times I... Yeah, dark, I, I like them all. Um, something about uh, huge knockers. Who calls them knockers anymore? I hope Walker does it, so all my Walker cards will go up in price. Something about Legend, though. I, in my favorite fantasy is Lord of the Rings. I love... I have a reminder for Dave. Love Lord of the Rings. These are racks. Yeah, I think these were just in racks, like this Tony Gwynn. Speaking of racks. I'm okay with Walker. I'm okay with them pretty much. All Clemens, Bonds, Walker. Who you going, buddy? Uh, who else is on the ballot this year? That would probably not get in. Dr. Brender, what about her? Kirby. Another Henderson. I love Dr. Brender. Todd Helton, okay, that's right. Baines. Vaughn, I could have used Dr. Brender today. Bob Malaki, what my mother would have said. You're full of Malaki. Then she would hit me with a brush. No one's even close. What's the 2021 class? Oh, that's nice, Frank Thomas. With the is that a dynamite stick of dynamite in his baseball bat? Man, I love these. That card looked like it would grade out pretty. High. I don't see how it could get less than a nine or. At least nine. Does anybody know about what are you looking at? What's your problem? I just fed you. About submitting cards to Beckett for grading. Oh, where are these things? 
now. Would be amazing. They don't have the nuts to do that, Ozzy. To, to upset Sabo that way. Scott Rowan. Jim Eisenreich. I'd put him in. I love all the hard Lord of the Rings, all Ewoks. My uncle reads both of my little Ewoks are huge on it. Yeah, Ewoks are cool. I don't hate Ewoks like other people. Um, the Ewok movies I have not seen in a very, very long time. Like Caravan of Courage, whatever it is. Little Brett Butler. No single Clemens card yet. This is a cool card. Jackson, Thomas, Olsen, and Stacey Jones. Two of those things are not like the others. And I'm talking about being fantastic baseball players. Kenny Lofton prospects. So we've got a Kenny Lofton rookie. Yeah, they were just, they felt, didn't feel like Star Wars movies. Jeff Bagwell. I'm waiting for a card to destroy our con expensive idea for use, though. Uh, that would be... Man, imagine the dislikes on that. Anytime you destroy something, whether it's a common card or not, people flip. You watch the TNT amusements, right, Taco? I, my therapist watches my streams sometimes. Phil Plant here. Uh, so they did a video where, another Lenny Dykstra, they did a video where they destroyed old pins that weren't working, they had no use for, and people went absolutely ballistic about it. And he's like, they were no good. We had them out here for free. Nobody wanted to come and take them, but I think it's his most disliked video. Scott Erickson. Vinnie Coleman. J&W Special. Frank Tanana. Glenn Sutko. I don't remember a lot of these guys. Did anybody see the John Boy uh, deep dive into the uh, uh, Blue Gehrig streak? Jim Tomey, fish with Phil. A mantle rookie, I think, would probably cause the most anger. Yeah, you're hoarding them like some, some. Selfish son of a gun. Denny Martinez. Tim Sphere. Tino Martinez. Uh, yeah, Mantle rookie. Uh, somebody can get their hands on Honus Wagner. melted that would be awesome i have no desire for mickey mantle cards i just never had any connection to to him oh that's a wind up piece <clears throat> what crazy is a, you mean batting stance speaking of poses as that comes up uh there were some pretty amazing batting stances i julio franco ricky henderson had a great batting stance uh, crazy as in weird or crazy as in like beautiful there's a Bobby Bow uh, I I love Ricky Henderson's batting sense the way he crouches down uh, like he's just really waiting to get a piece of that I, I love Mo Vaughn swing I love 
Um, obviously, Griffey swing. There's a video. Uh, somebody breaks down Mo Vaughn swing. Lucky, lucky, if you're still here. Carlton Fisk yelling at somebody. The Tombstone card. I might have that. I don't know. Willie Banks, Jack Morris. Ugh. For windups for pitchers. Um, I mean, Louis Tiant had a great windup. Fernando. Uh, there's something about Tim Wakefield, the way he throws that knuckleball. I really enjoy. So right on the front, I'm not, that's the third Will Clark we pulled. He's got a really good swing. Casey, Casey's crush. Tom Glavin. Uh, Chris Weaver, who do you think is the oddest swing stance or wind up? Release. Frank Thomas. Jesus, he's a monster. Hamburg helper card. That's neat. Record setters. You have a. Oh, Carter and Joe. It's in the. Um, three different um, teams. Pretty cool. Jody Reed. Let's look at Jody Reed's numbers. <sighs> Career batting average of 288. What? Yeah, he had legs. He needed legs to keep up that the shoulders on uh, that he had. They were massive. Uh, 14 home runs from 84 to 91. 187 RBIs. 297 runs. 600 hits. Jody is the glue that holds Boston's infield together. 5'9", 165. He just he just ate. He just ate. He does not need any more stats. Three packs just got wait. I just opened a 2015 top series two. Three packs. You got two short prints. I'm a short, I'm like crazy for short prints now. Uh, that's why I'm going with trying to hunt error cards because it's it's like finding short prints. Um and junk wax. So this is a Robin Young card. I don't really, this is a weird one. He's just, <laughs> I think he's tripping. Uh, this is Robin Young after he uh, dropped a couple tabs. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I love 2015 tops. Bobby Thick Pen. I don't know what to do with all these 92 flare cards now. So I was reading an article from uh, Ken Herbeck about him in 1982 article and how he was going to be the next just monster. Uh, he was all right. Let's see his stats. He doesn't look healthy there. So let's see. 82, his career batting average of 289. From 82 to 91, how many home runs did he have? About 200 home runs. Struck out a lot in 86, and, uh, 80, 45, and 86. Uh, 92, he had uh, 1,484 hits. Ortiz, yeah. I loved Ortiz for obvious reasons, but I've said it before. He's one of the few guys who, when in a clutch situation, I don't turn off the TV and walk away. I always felt, ooh, Mark Lee. Let's check out Mark Lee's stats. Uh, it's a pitcher. He's ERA 90. Two and a half innings pitch, two and one 
thirds. Wait a minute. 21 and one third inning pitch. Zero saves. Uh, 3.86. Not very good. That's why I don't know who he is. He's a, why is he holding a bat in this pit picture? Uh, a Rod, he's so disliked. I can't think of any baseball player, modern baseball. Who's who's disliked more than A Rod? I want to hear about him. It's Albert Bell. Wait, what are you talking about? You feel the same way about him in what sense? Brady Anderson. Brady Anderson is the guy that, to me, when you think of the rotten, like the shittiness of the steroid era, what made people upset? Uh, I think of Brady Anderson and I think of um, Luis Gonzalez. Uh, so let's see Brady Anderson's stats. 89, hit four home runs, 93 home runs, uh, 91, two home runs. Uh, you know, I think prior to getting on the juice, he hit 15 was his, the most he'd hit. And then he comes out and he, he's all juiced up and he hits 50. Um, and then the next year he's back down to whatever. Uh, I read an article where somebody said it was due to injury. That's why he didn't perform better prior to that, but he was clearly on, on drugs. And uh, I don't know. Where Barry Bonds, uh, climate disease guys were great with or without. I'm not saying Brady Anderson wasn't good. He was good. Bob Hamlin. No stats on that. Just a handsome devil. He kind of looks like somebody. Somebody that we all know. Like Henneman. David Cohn. Now, what about him getting the Hall of Fame? He's got some pretty, pretty great numbers. And I think according to, to, um, Brendan, what are you talking about, Dallas? Some clear. I wish I had some of the clear. One day, I'm a little bit older. Uh, according to Baseball Reference, he his numbers are like our Hall of Fame. Uh, I think out of all the players not in the Hall of Fame that should possibly be in the Hall of Fame, uh, he is the highest percentage. I can't remember what it's called. Good night, Jen. Go watch um Legend this weekend. We could talk about it. Another Tony Gwynn. Dallas, who, who's Brendan? Brendan Simmons? Or just watch the clips on YouTube. There are tons of them. I wish I could play them without getting in trouble. Not, I would... 63, yeah. You know who else had a high war? Oh, man, who was it? Else Burks had a pretty high war. Higher than I thought when I was looking at stuff last night. I wish I could demonetize the video and just like it's something like this. I, I would. I'd happily demonetize it so I could show movie stuff and talk about it. Oh, the guy in the car that looked. Okay. I didn't know if Brendan was in here. Sid Bream. Rod Beck. You think Tommy Juice? Yeah, 98 was crazy. Just insane. Yeah, Jen, you should definitely watch. It's a good, like, Caribbean Jr. It's a good Sunday movie. I was so... Uh, John Boy did the deep dive thing into Gehrig's streak and how many times that... I mean, the dude was a monster, clearly. Uh, he played a ton of baseball and you had a lot more double headers back then, but they did kind of pat him a bit 
like he would go in for a bat, a one, a, a one inning and then come out. Right. Uh, so, um, there was in fact a rain delay when he had the flu. They, there was a, they called rain delay to prevent him from this, the streak. Um, I tried doing that, Chris. And uh, no, because the algorithm, they pick it up. It's the sound and the visuals. I showed Texas Chance on the ask for once. There was no audio, and I got a copyright claim. Good night, Jen. Thank you for stopping in for a bit. But in the video, he said, well, you know, he didn't know about Cal Ripken if they did the same. So I did look, and there were definitely times where Cal Ripken was was padded, but it didn't seem nearly as much as Garrick um, was. So they, he was at that game though. Here you go. So this, like something like this, I'm going through, we're going to the box for Dallas. Um, the, the lights off thing. It's a rumor that they did that for him. Like the rumor was that Kevin Costner, he caught Kevin Costner banging his wife and didn't make and beat up Kevin Costner and didn't make it to the game, but he was at the game. He took a warm up. He was there. Um, and um, so it wasn't, wasn't real. They, the, the power outage, like he said, it wouldn't have meant he was at the game. Can I something like AK? Why did his dad take him out in the eighth? Was there a reason? A good reason, I should say. Tom Bernanski. I have a ticket over here. I don't know if it's a baseball ticket. I found this while sorting cards today. Just cause. Ozfest ninety. Speaking of dads, Ozfest ninety eight. I think Pantera played, and uh, I couldn't drive at the time, so my father took me, and I made him dress up like a certain real life who could beat up Kevin Costner. Uh, uh, Austin, <laughs> I don't know. Austin always says he's he is the, he's the physicality of a ninety year old man. You need those VHS of Tom Bernanke? I like Kevin Costner. I never went to Family Values Tour. I was never into, I was more into the metal stuff. Um, I saw, I think that was Aussie Black Sabbath, Typo Negative Pantera. Uh, it, was, it was cool. I'm glad I saw them, Pantera and Typo Negative. I, I love, I miss typo negative dearly. Not a single Clemens highlight card. I'm kind of bugged out by it. Do a little bit more. I didn't know we had one of those. Maybe I'll have to get it. Never was a Ripken fan growing up. I don't know. He was a little... Even with the streak, he was just too boring for me. Clemens is a dick. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I've seen this pack already. So this is the third Ryan. Yeah, I remember the. I remember what they were. Um, the last time I was at Ozfest, I can't remember. It was maybe two thousand five or so. And I helped set up the freak show, the side show. I got VIP passes to do it. And uh, man, there's just some stinking people. I had to bring a 12 pack of or beer or something to that, like that, as I recall. Oh, my Piazza. I don't mind these cards. I don't think they're too terrible. Tom Bernanke videos with Fred McGriff. No, it's new to me. Jay Bell. Let's see what his numbers are like. 
Uh, it's hard to get a, a good sense with the back of these. Bobby Thompson is pretty good. What I remember. Hey, Austin, you still here? Good old Amansky. I'm going to show you what I got tonight, what I hit in our uh, Urban Breaks uh, stuff. So I got a, this Tatis out of 25, and then I got this, uh, this Tatis out of the gallery mega box. So pretty happy about that. Now I have like a, I, I think a pretty good foundation to work on a PC of um, Tatis. Ramstein and Orgy. Didn't Orgy do Rammstein or um, Blue Monday? I was, in, I was sleeping. I missed it all. So hopefully, it's a, I made a joke. I know he wouldn't keep it. And I know other people have done that. Randy Johnson, because I, it was on the spot I hadn't paid for yet. So I was going to uh, trade him a spot in one of my breaks. Craig Grebeck. Uh, Cecil Fielder. Ugh. Primer's filled in the crystal method cheese. It's up a warp tour I never went to. Um, Ozzie Gian. Ozzie Gian's not in the Hall of Fame, right? Is he? Might be. I'm not sure. Don Harris. Big Donnie D. Jimmy T was a really great pitcher. He was very good. Brian Harvey. Ken Caminiti. Joe Bovine. Kevin Gross. Kill Will Raid. Gerald Clark. Luis Rivera, Rivera, I love me some killer whale. Barry Larkin and Kirby Puckett. Hello, Irish Warrior, Light God 2. Welcome to this somewhat brief stream tonight, this morning. Irish Warrior, how are you? Thank you for the sub and the, the like. My dad made fun of Ozzy against, to his face in the late size of my hometown. What did he say to poor Ozzy again? Where's a uh, killer whale, my dude? Oof, Cecil. Man, he's a thick man. How big he is. He looks like his he he looks like he's gonna pop. Like that skin looks really tight. Like, like uh, you leave a tomato out in the sun too long. I don't know why I got really excited about that. Black roads and bass, bass or bass, like bass fishing or bass guitar or both. He and the White Sox are jerks. Hey, Mr. Wheel. That's like the fifth. Hey, Stelina is still in her? Stelina is, in, is still in her? Is that what you're saying? Is that your name? I'm about to play some music in a minute. Some guitar. Just the last pack of this. Pot Pot King. Nice to see you. 
Just finishing up these cards. Dale Murphy. Tom Glavin. Muscle Man, how are you? And let's skip to the back. And we'll we got a room here. So let me turn the camera around. Just still is cool. Okay. Thank you for making it easy on me. I have a very difficult time with my words. There are a bunch of bullies in here. Uh, they will be cool. If I mess up your name, particularly the stinky son of a bitch named Taco. Hmm. Uh, these were all these are somewhat older cards. They're a 1992 flare. I bought a bunch today. I just wanted to open some up. We love the smell of taco meat in the morning. I'm gonna play some uh, guys like blues, blues music. Thank you, Mr. Will. Uh, I do have an Instagram. It's on my about me page. Uh, you have a see an electric hard door. I could help you with it if you need to find out. Uh, are you looking for value information or what? <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, um, you can email me here. I'll give you my email. Good night, Chris. I will see you tonight, tomorrow. Uh, if you shoot me an email with a picture, I, I'll probably be able to help you out. Later, Mr. Farmer. <laughs> This is kind of like a Pink Floyd ripoff. We didn't do it. Um, I've been breaking 92 flair. I got some stuff for the side for you. Can say those. 
I'm going to do the break tonight at 1030. Sometimes I find gold jewelry. <laughs> Confuses me too, Eric. Um, what do we get? I, a lot of these cards, Chris, which I think are Rat Pack exclusives. Not going to focus here, but. Well, I'll keep you updated if you want. The ballad of Joe Dickey's Bulge. <laughs> You going back to work? Now you off, Chris. Isn't Pika a mental? Pika is a, a mental illness. It is Phil. Uh, yeah, it is supposed to be. It's supposed to be a generic company, so I I don't get the copyright claim. Uh, my cats have uh, cats tend to have Pika or Pika. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but my old cats had it really bad. In fact. Um, it almost killed them twice because they would eat like this. They would wolf us down. And it is, uh, in humans, it is a, a mental dis I think it's considered a mental disorder. Oftentimes, it has to do with a vitamin, a deficiency of some kind. Like you're craving some type of vitamin that you don't have, uh, you're not producing enough of. <laughs> I miss I miss this conversation. What's going on? Who's eating toilet paper? Uh, I got it. So like when I used to smoke, my cat would, unbeknownst to me, would chew the cellophane off the cigarette packs. And then she got an, she stopped eating it, had an impaction, so she had surgery to get it removed. And then Years later, it happened again. She was eating the plastic off of Poland spring bottles. So you have, muscle man, you have, uh, I don't know, well, I don't really know any Christian music. I could, uh, I don't know any, any, I don't know a lot of Christian or non-Christian music in that I don't know a lot of other people's stuff. A Behringer, the guitar, uh, Behringer's are known for their amplifiers. I'm not sure about the guitars. If I saw a picture of it. I did see it, uh, Chris. Toilet paper song? Let's say it's going to be the toilet paper song. You're talking my language, muscle man. Good night, Jane W. Why don't you, uh, when you wake up in the morning, take a good look in the mirror and think about uh, sharing some of those autographs with us peasants. <laughs> Toilet tape song. <laughs> know why I think it was like eating toilet paper is like a funky song. Mm. Unless you hear it differently, you can guide me. Thank you. 
Catch his feet, I was eating shit paper in his last street. Wait, what? Was it toilet paper or was it toilet paper that had been used? When the Charming Bear sings about his honey being clean. Uh, yeah, I feel very uncomfortable when I see that bear. I have uh, terrible thoughts about that bear. <laughs> There's a video, um, if you guys have the guts to look for it, it's called Septic Awesome Septic Number... I'll type it. If you have the... Wow, lucky, lucky. Very spicy tonight. Like, smack that little bear's ass. What? I don't know, I think that's so funny. Why do you want to smack it? What card is it? Classic? This got real weird, real quick, and I like it. What's up, Jig Silva? How are you? I will always, if you ever come back here again, I will call you Jig Silver. Uh, silver, not Silva. Apparently, I cannot properly pronounce things. From uh... trying to think of something sad because the reality is, if you're eating dirty toilet paper, you're probably not feeling great about it. Mm, find a better clean sound. Oh yeah, yeah. Shoe nice. Back roads. Yeah, he's still doing it. For any of you guys that are, are new here, um, I, I tend to stream every night or every other night. Um, I wasn't streaming tonight. I came on very late just for an hour. It's been an hour and 30 minutes so far. Usually the streams are a little bit more bumped. You know, there's more people here. It's more interactive. And, uh, uh, but I'm happy uh, all you guys uh, came in through a uh, Kill a wheel. <laughs> Just like LA Beats, I thought I don't want to be LA Beats because his quick one hour streams turn into like five hour streams. So. Yeah, Shoe Nice still does it. He's still going, eating weird ass stuff, and he's a bad alcoholic. <laughs> Phil, say something. Oh, never mind, I got you. I got you. I did see it. We had uh, talk. Were you here the other night when some other checkmark person came in? Some Brazilian mogul, fashion mogul. <laughs> When I see a check mark, I start to panic. I did find him after, and he is a fashion guy. I don't know how that works with the who they're spitting my stuff out to.
Jigs, where are you from, Jigs? And uh, still, where are you from? New Jersey, okay, cool. Thank you guys all for coming over. Yes, like God, too. Singapore, okay. Like I said, it's usually a lot more uh, people in here and a bit more interactive um, earlier and with plants streams, excuse me. I am getting very hungry right now. This is about my time to eat. Killer Wheel, what, what would your song sound like? Maybe Jeffrey Star will come in. Now, Dan's doing good. He's doing his channel. Uh, we're going to be doing something together soon. Um, he's going to be providing me stuff to break. Um, I'll sell it for him. and I'll, I'll take a percentage of it, but uh, he's doing great. Simple man? I don't know, simple man. I have to be careful with certain stuff uh, still in that I will get the copyright claim on my video immediately. Hey, Matt. What's up, man? Good to see you this early or late, depending on your perspective. Yeah, he's doing a, a raffle on his channel right now. Ten bucks for a Nolan Ryan rookie. It's 20 spots, ten bucks um, for a Nolan Ryan rookie and a Babe Ruth relic card numbered out of four, I think. Something like that. It's a pretty good deal. I don't get in trouble. I just get a claim on the video and they, any money that I would make from ads they take, which is not much anyway, but I just don't want to risk getting a strike. It makes me very, very nervous. I'll be forced to sell 88 score for $15 a stack. I'm good, Matt. We were just uh, breaking 92 flare. And um, I was just bored and I, I wanted to interact with some people. All my friends are sleeping. So. I miss 82. <laughs> Um, one thing I, I will also mention too, this is not a growth stream or a networking stream, but there are lots of people to meet and connect with. Um, I, if, if that's what you're looking for, uh, all you gotta do is hang out and chat with people and get to know them and we'll come together kind of like killer wheel. And we have a cat. He's right here. He's about to take rest into the 1992 flare wrappers, which is something we all wish we could do. There you go, buddy. Wonder what it is about wrappers that cats like. I put up anglers? 
what do you mean? Yeah, he's a good good guy, Matt. I'm happy that. So he caught that mouse on stream, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago. And ever since then, um, he's been um, in hunting mode. Uh, well, it depends on how you mean. How do you how do you want to promote your channel? Like I said, I, I'm very uh, um, I'm a stickler with the rules about that, the networking and things like that. But if you if you want to if you want to say what your channel is about, and I think that, that's cool. I don't mind that. Uh, Matt, uh, I'm actually going to email you immediately after the stream. Yeah, he's a great cat. He's the official. Like, stores have cats. You go into certain stores, especially in, in rural areas, they have the store cat. This is the, the stream cat. But yeah, but, but he found a mouse on stream the other night and went, killed it, unfortunately. And ever since then, he's been just in attack, super attack mode. Now he's just finally starting to relax. You are a big fat dude. Uh, who did you say you PC, Matt? Man, you stink, dude. Like he farted. 88 Tops UK. That would be a really fun uh, break. 12 pounds of pack. Those are heavy packs. Must be a couple Mo Vons in there. I took my cat to work on take your kids to work day and she had a blast jumping all the box. I don't are you are you being serious? I think it's awesome if you are. Eli and Vlad, okay. Yeah, I'm sorting through stuff. I got so many Eloy um, stuff I can get get you. That sounds like the beginning of a Nintendo game. Can anybody guess what it is? Ingrata. What's up? Just about to close down the stream. Luigi's Mansion? Mansion? No, not. Luigi's Mansion? I don't remember how that I never played that game. There, there. Uh, it's a Nintendo game, one of the best. And Groth is my uh, late night, early morning girlfriend, for those who don't know. <laughs> Oh, you're going crazy. Nope, not Mega Man, not Castlevania. No, the realm. It's for NES. Uh, the, the OG Nintendo. That's not it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, Nintendo is the I have a pretty big NES collection. I'd like to if I had the setup where I was before, if I could get the internet to work in there, I would have been playing Nintendo games on stream for a while, but this is a very hard game. It is Contra, the very beginning when the screen comes down. Yeah, just as the two dudes are cut there, I can't remember their names, the screen comes down and it does it. Mario. I'm trying to make it sound a little like a synthesizer. There are several hard games on it. That is true. Uh, which Zelda uh, would you? Uh, which Zelda theme? He was invited for the, uh, hey, Paul, I got my knee on the 50. Can you handle all that all that knee? Put some 3D glasses on. All right, let me see. Classic Zelda. What's up, Paul? You working? Ocarina of Time's a great game. Love it. I have not really played Breath of the Wild. Um, change the setting. This is a, uh, not an easy version of this. Let me what, try a different one. I'm trying to read it as I'm playing it. I don't know how to play it. So, uh, what's up, Void? It is very late. Yeah, I meant to go in the stream 45 minutes ago. But yeah, I slept a lot today, Paul. If you say worse, honestly, I've known as the world, but the world since I was first. Many times people say a word, and it's, oh, you see, I see what you're saying. Uh, still, I, I get like that too. I, th I think that's one Dallas slept. And if I could sleep and hit hit autographs like that, I'll be I'd be sleeping all the time. Not that I'm not sleeping all the time, anyways. But um, I like Mike Tyson's Punch Out theme quite a bit. Which I used to. Let me see if I can find it.
Yeah, Void. I got a Tatis rookie auto out of gallery tonight from Urban and a Tatis same box uh, out of 25 uh, while I was asleep. And I feel bad that I missed it. It's a beautiful card. Both of them are beautiful. Let's see. Punch out. Mega Man. I mean, I'm sorry. Metroid has gotten amazing. Anybody remember that? How that goes. Metroid is such an important, important game. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, here's a picture. I keep showing it off like a, a kid showing off his new toy, but um, I'm really excited about it. It's just a, such a nice looking card. I just, I mean, unfortunately, it's a sticker, but that's okay. Uh, I will happily take that and display it and uh, keep it. So Metroid, if anybody played Metroid uh, for the NES, um, how atmospheric that game was compared to all other Nintendo games. Uh, there was really a lot of care put into that game, uh, heavily influenced by Alien punch out let's see wizards of war he's got great music probably the greatest soundtrack of all the nintendo games <laughs> football are you ready for some football are all your rowdy friends coming over tonight <laughs> It's a great song. And there's the theme when um, the knockdown. <laughs> That's what I like. Uh, that laugh. That, oh, 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 oh. Uh, who did that laugh? Uh, Bolt Bull. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Great song. Oh, I got a Mattingly. I don't know if you have this. Got a ton of. 
junk wax today for the store. So all this stuff will be up soon, but relax. One of the things I'm keeping for myself is a is the 92 Flare Rack Pack box, just because I want to put together, okay, yep, bye. Uh, a set of these, I think, Rack Pack exclusive cards, these uh, team leaders. And I think I pulled a Mattingly out of here. Yeah, right here. So these are what the cards look like, which I opened up a million Flare, uh, 92 Flare back in the day, and I do not remember these. Okay, let me turn the camera off. Here comes a beast. So the matting Lee is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Can you recall this? Uh, Dallas, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put them up tomorrow uh, Sunday because tonight I have um, I'm gonna do the Bowman break and I I think I'm probably just gonna do that because it's gonna take a while there's a lot of stuff to break uh, and if there's anything in here you think I should get more of then uh, I will go get more of because he has a, a ton of it so I'm gonna do one more rack pack and I'm gonna shut it down. You have that one, Void. What's good with the 93, 94 tops? I mean, 93, 94 um, hoops. Jorge Bell. Steinbach. Tremont. Navarro. Still, not a single... Um, Clements highlight card, which kind of bugs me. Uh, every pack has got one, so if I could pull a double, it would be nice. Um, tops, I like 71. I like... Huh. 72 is nice. 52 is really nice. 53 is really nice as well. 84 is good. Kind of like 85. I hate 86. 87 is okay. 88 is absolute rubbish. Yeah, I'm. that was a very much a factory error to me. Classic. But anytime, that's this is the it's the rule of card collecting. You make a video, right? And you have a box of cards, and you go through it, and you don't get the card that you want. Everybody, it's like a law. You have to say searched. When it was um, looked like a factory error, it was sealed. Having no draft picks in any of them seems like, you know. Hey, where's Truth? Dave Justice with a, I remember this card. Only Dave Justice card I probably keep. Ah, there we go. Ken Griffey Jr. First Griffey. Does Achilles play baseball with the cards? And it's, yeah. Uh, now it's, I don't think anybody cares about the stats on the card anymore. They just care what the card's worth. This is. Not a Justice fan, but I'll keep that one. Rick Honeycutt. Pass my Daryl Hamilton. I mean, it happens. Lee Smith. 
Joel Johnson. I can't believe we have 18 people here right now at this time. Bill Swift. Bill Kyler. Kevin McReynolds. Mark Sol uh, Salas. Book cover. Sandy. Whoa. You guys hear that? He's going crazy. So another Tony Gwynn. I think that's the third Gwynn. Really nice looking. Kind of like Stadium Club vibe to it. Club Durango. Ralph's truck and always calls me Dave Dungo. No matter how many times they say it's Durango. So I'm going to end the stream because I do want to get um, a few things out today uh, to Salty and Chris Bolton. Uh, oh, you, you, well, I still have a half box to go through. If I find another one, you just have it. There you go, buddy. NLP's perfect timing. He needs me. Dave Dungo. I don't like that. It makes me angry. It pisses me off, actually, when he does it. I know he's not mean to do it, but my name is not Dave Dungo. I wish you all the luck. $10 for 14 update hangers is unbelievable. Anybody that came in from Whale Stream, thank you. I hope you stick around. We have a lot of fun in here. When we, you know, regular time streams, they're, they're pretty busy and they, they are a lot of fun. And uh, there's something for everybody, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll be live tonight at 1030 to do that big Bowman break. And I will hopefully see most of you then. If not, go fuck yourselves. <laughs>